We're going you see the sky hook behind me, don't you? That don't give you shivers, does it? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> NBA History Channel is powered by Price Picks, the exclusive daily fantasy partner of the CLNS Media Network. Celtics in 1981, but in 79, two great players come out of college. Larry Bird, Magic Johnson. Uh, Michigan State, Indiana State. Larry goes to Boston. Magic comes to L.A. They got this rivalry going again. And it's one that started in college. And 1980 comes. We win the first championship because all Magic talked about was Larry Bird and then the Boston Celtics. So 81 comes about. You guys, you guys won in 81, right? right. Uh, 82, we're able to beat Philly again and get our championship. 83, we thinking things are rolling and going and we end up losing. 84, we see you guys for the first time, I believe, in a championship series. Mm -hmm. And 1984 is a championship loss that to this day, Robert, sticks with me. And and it just, um, it eats at me. It really does. (laughs) Because you know what? We should have whooped y'all's ass, man. And we we should have. (laughs) We we were both playing to be the best, trying to achieve excellence, trying to be the best team in the world. Hey, we got... When I went to Celtic, we got to the championship five times, yep. one and three. Those two losses still cross my mind from time yep. to time because that's, that's the ultimate prize. Yep. All your work and sacrifice and dedication, that is your reward, your gratification. Let, no, let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Iron sharpens iron. And I know when we first saw you guys, or even back in the 80s before we saw you guys, is that Magic used to always talk about Larry Bird, but now he had included the Celtics. And every year from that year on, we talked about you guys in uh, at, at training camp, beginning of the season, exhibition season. We knew what we had to do to get out the way. Same, same here. Okay, I was going to ask you, is that the same thing you guys you, were thinking? Just like you guys focus on, on us, like, like you guys feel like the only rival – a competitor that you guys were concerned about was the Celtics. We felt like the only competitors in the league that we were really concerned about were the Lakers. We felt the same way. Just like you guys followed us with the standings, yep. the wins and losses, we did the same thing with the Lakers. Yep. And, and you know what? That's made basketball. And people talk about yes. the NBA today. It, I don't really think, Rob, and again – uh, yeah, you have the, the Bird and Mikhail and Paris and DJ, all the other ones. Uh, we had Magic, Worthy, Kareem. Right. But it was players. And I, I, I see you kind of like in the same sense of me, Robert. You were that player that they weren't going to win without you. So Absolutely. that's what Come. made it fun. With all due respect to your horses, this is just my personal opinion. Mm-hmm. I always feel like if you – and worthy was balling, you guys gonna be a handful. You guys gonna be no. trouble. Bro. So I'm just adding you to that list with worthy, Kareem, and Magic. I add you to that list. Now, with all due respect to Byron Scott, I wasn't all on board with him. But because I, I the reason why I say that, because he I didn't feel like he was getting it done defensively. Yeah. He was getting he was getting it done offensively, don't get me wrong. But defensively, I felt like you made the difference. And that's, and Rob, why that's what wins championships. Is right. that that's defense. why I put you on the list as opposed to Scott, Byron Scott. Like I said, he was tearing it up offensively. Don't get me wrong. But I'm, I've never been a fan of a one-way player. Yeah. I'm a fan of a player. And Coop, you got it done on both ends. Thank you, Rob. And that's why I put you on that list. 1984. We play you guys at the Garden. We end up losing. And I'm going to tell you something. And I probably shouldn't tell you this. But anyway, after that game, after we fought our way through the crowd, because I love the fact that the crowd was able to come on the floor, fought our way. Uh, we were in the locker room, and it was just horrible, man. And we were sitting there, and Magic and I were like one of the last two to take a shower. And we ended up sitting in the corner, taking a shower. And I remember this vividly. The water's running over. And, and Magic said this. He said, you know what, Coop? We'll never lose to these motherfuckers again. And I, like I was like, he, and th- it, but it was the way he said it. And I'm pretty sure Larry has said some things through the course. When when your leaders say something a certain way, 
It makes you sit up and take attention. And you know, we came back that next year, Rob, and we had you guys number one focus from day one. Yeah, yeah we knew there was Cleveland. We knew there was everybody else coming out, Philadelphia. We knew Detroit was starting to rear up and be the, I don't call them bad boys. I call them bad kids. Uh, we knew they were coming. And but our focus was on you guys and Robert. I was so glad when we finally got a chance to see y'all. What are your thoughts about that '85 championship series? I feel like uh, it was a great uh, series and uh, very competitive. I always felt like Coop that year. You guys had the edge slightly because yeah. you guys had a little bit more firepower. Because I felt like we lost Lynn Bias. Yep. And so that hurt us. In ter- especially against teams like like uh, your Lakers, because we needed that extra firepower to get us past you guys. Because you guys had uh, Michael Do, you had Michael Thompson uh, coming off the bench. Uh, well, well, it was me, Michael Do, and Michael Thompson coming off the bench because Jerry had went and got Michael just for Kevin McHale to to win after yeah. that eighty four. So when he came, and I believe it was Larry Spriggs, Mike uh-huh. McGee. One of them that, that kind of like add a little bit. Mike McGee, that's who I'm trying to think of. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, Mike McGee, yeah, he was another one. That's why I say you guys had us a tad more firepower yeah. than we did. And that was the difference. And when you guys beat us in 85, Larry said something similar. We're going to get these motherfuckers next time. Oh, we did. Robert, you know and, what? You have really it's... gotten comfortable because you're cursing now. I love that, man. I, I don't. That's showing the I power. don't. I don't. I don't swear often, but I, but okay. I do I'm swear. I, I, I do swear though. You're I don't do it. Passion, man. Yep. I don't do it often, but I do do it. Well, you know what? That Celtic, uh, the Celtic Lake rivalry brings out something. I'm sweating under my arms over here because I'm I'm against Chief. And you know what, Robert? I'm gonna say this to you. And of all the defensive assignments that we had, you know, you had strategies for different people, what Bird was going to do, but you were probably the most difficult one to guard because Kareem was okay defensive player, but we knew that you could get your shot off on him. So our main focus was to contain you, Robert. It really was. Through all our championships, uh, every one. No wonder I kept getting double teamed. You guys should have been double teamed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Should have been double teamed <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> that magic me. came down on you quick. And you, you were the main focus of us because we knew, we said, you know what, if we can keep Robert's points down a little bit, maybe that might help us because you kind of right. figure that we knew you could get yours one-on-one, but you knew Larry and them, Larry's a good passer. If he got doubled, he's going to pass it. But right. Robert, you had that turnaround high, high shot that nobody could affect. So we knew we had to get you before you got into the motion. Uh, yeah, you were uh, one of our nemesis. Uh, you were that kind of guy that was off to the side, but we for, knew, always paid attention to you. For the record, I noticed it too. <laughs> almost every time I touched the ball, I got doubled. <laughs> <laughs> Testing my skills on prize picks this season is the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $1,000 with just a few taps. Use the code CLNS for the first deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. 